Gurdwara Singh Sabha, Seven Kings. Um, firstly, before we start the show, I'd like to congratulate the, the Sikh Sangat on the beginning of the uh, Sikh New Year. The month of Chet started yesterday. So um, before we start, I'd like to congratulate everyone on that. Um, without further ado, I'd like to go straight into the topic. Many of you have been watching uh, a Sikh channel over the last um, day or so. And you may be aware about the, the issue around the uh, sudden announcement of an execution of Bhai Balwant Singh Rajwana. Um, and that's the uh, a topic that we'll be discussing today. Um, I have a panel with me today, and we're very honored to have some uh, good thinking uh, Sikhs with us. I have uh, Bhai Sukhdeev Singh um, to, to, my, uh, to, my, to my left here. Um, and he's a, an, a, an active Sevadar. You may recognize him from Trafalgar Square um, uh, Mujara last year, where uh, Bhai Sabji spoke on stage. Uh, we have Pai Manmugan Singh here, who, uh, again, many of you are familiar with, the local Sevadar, um, and he's also presented this show um, a few times as well. And uh, on my, on my uh, right here, I have uh, Pai Shamshir Singh Ji from uh, representing uh, from SOPW and also uh, 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 an active Sevadar in, in Sikh issues. Um, so I think we'll go straight into setting the scene. Uh, um, you've seen the promos. Um, I'm hoping that many of you have uh, gone onto the internet and, and read about it. There have been texts flying around. Um, you know, it's, it's been discussion on, on the uh, Sikh forums about um, Pai Balwant Singh Rajwana. Now, just to set the scene, Pai uh, Balwant Singh was uh, sentenced to capital punishment in the case um, of the murder of the former Chief Minister Bian Singh. And uh, the announcement came on Tuesday where it was announced that Pai Sabji is going to be hung on the 31st of March at 9 a.m. at Patiala Central Jail. Now, Pai Balwant Singh was a constable uh, and a close friend of uh, Sheed Dilawar Singh, uh, who was a serving police officer in the Punjab Police, um, uh, Punjab police at the time. Um, Pai Dilawar Singh was uh, responsible for the uh, assassination of the then Chief Minister of Punjab, Bian Singh, in, on the 31st of August, 1995. Um, under Bian Singh's regime, uh, there are accusations that brutal and mass levels of uh, killings took place of civilian Sikhs. Um, Bai Dilawar Singh carried out a, a blast and died during that incident. Bai Jagtar Singh Hawara, Bai Balwan Singh Rajwana, Bai Paramjit Singh Bora, Bai Jagtar Singh Tara, by Lakhwinder Singh, by Gurmeet Singh, are just some of the prominent Singh, uh, Sikhs who have been charged with the assassination of uh, Chief Minister Bian Singh in 1995. Um, now, something we need to really be aware of uh, is that Pai Balwan Singh Rajwana has openly confessed to his involvement um, in, the, in the case and has strongly expressed no faith in the Indian judiciary. He's refused to defend himself in courts and accepted the death sentence. He's accused the Indian courts for applying dual standards of law and accused the Indian system for shielding culprits of the Sikh genocide of 1984. What's even further interesting to note is um, in his will, um, Bible once ex expressed an, uh, a desire that his eyes should be transplanted uh, to Hazuri Ragi of Darbar Sahib, um, the visually impaired Pai Lakhwinder Singh Ji. Um, and also, Pai, Pai Sahib, Pai uh, Balwan Singh Ji was blessed with Amrit. Um, and Amrit Sanjar specially organized for him very recently. You may have seen the pictures um, in the press, I think not so long ago at all, um, by the Jatidar of Akal Takh Sahib um, himself. So um, perhaps before, before I take this any further, um, I'm, I'm just going to read out the, the will of um, Bible Wan Singh. Um, and this is the English translation of the will. Um, Accepting the omnipresence of Akal Purk, God Almighty, I hereby swear on oath that after my death, all parts of my body which can benefit any person are pledged to the highest temporal authority of the Sikhs, Siddhi Akal Taksai. It is my earnest wish that after my death, my eyes may kindly be given to the Huzuri Ragi of Siri Darbar Harmandar Sahib by Lakhwinder Singh, who is blind, so that through him, my eyes continue to revere Holy Darbar Sahib. For medical or other reasons, in case this is not possible, then my eyes may be given to any other needy person. In addition to this, any other part of my body, heart, kidney, or any other which can be beneficial to any other person may be given to that person. 
I am writing this will without any coercion or compulsion and out of my own conviction and commitment and with the approval of the members of my family. I am happily making this will in the presence of my sister Gamaldeep Kaur, my brother-in-law Baljeet Singh, my nephew Ajaydeep Singh, my niece Harnoor Kaur, Superintendent, Superintendent of the Model Jail Chandigarh Navjot Pal Singh Randava, Medical Office, Medical Office uh, BK Salwan and other jail authorities. Signed, Balawant Singh Rajwana. So it's a very powerful will there, and I think that really sums up um, the kind of character um, that Paisab that Paisab is. Now I'd, I'd like to turn to uh, um, Shamshir Singh um, because I believe you, you have a, a greater understanding of, of the, the background of the case and, and you know being involved in, in the SOPW, the Sikh Organisation of Prisoner Welfare, as well. Um, you've had involvement with, with some of these cases, so um, if you'd like to just. Um, Give us some more information, please. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as you mentioned, um, Balwant Singh was a, a serving police officer at the uh, time of the assassination. Himself and um, by the Dilawar Singh masterminded the assassination of Bian Singh. Um, Bian Singh, uh, I mean, maybe the younger people that are watching may not be aware. Um, he was a very uh, brutal person. He was responsible for thousands and thousands of murders. He was of, the chief minister. Yeah, 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 he was the chief minister. So he's directly responsible for the murders of thousands of innocent Sikh civilians, um, especially young uh, boys. Um, under his direct rule, uh, KPS Gill, known as the Butcher of the Punjab, uh, one of the worst and most brutal police officers, was given a free reign um, to carry out mass killings uh, and genocide. Um, and while uh, serving as a bodyguard by Dalawar Singh and uh, by Balwant Singh, um, something inside them awoke and they realized that the person that they were protecting was uh, um, a killer and a murderer of Sikhs. Um, so, you know, I'm saying Punjabi. Um, on Kajagi, you know, they were, mm -hmm. you know, doing their duty, and so they approached some things. Um, and I, it's an important point um, to realize the fact that these people were serving um, um, Punjab police officers. It's like, a, I mean, like imagine two extremely rival football clubs, mm -hmm. like I don't know, Celtic or Rangers or something. So like imagining a, a loyal support of one team becoming a, a total loyal supporter of the the other team. I mean, this kind of stuff doesn't happen. You know, it, it was divine, um, the fact that these people, while being in a position where they were totally away from the entire movement and the Sikh struggle, came forward and committed such an action. I think at the time as well, if I'm not mistaken, they weren't actually good Sikhs as well. I think the perception's always been no. that the, uh, the, no. the, the, the person involved would, would look like this. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I know for a fact, the, 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 the Lavra Singh was, was yeah, we've seen the pictures of the Lavra Singh um, on the internet. And I think also, if you look at the younger pictures of uh, Bible One Singh as well, yeah, Rizona, trimmed, um, beard. he trimmed beard, yeah, he yeah. wasn't uh, a practicing uh, Sikh not at all. Sikh at the time. No. And so uh, on the 31st of August 1995, uh, Bhaidala Lava Singh um, exploded himself uh, and assassinated um, Bian Singh. Um, Balwan Singh uh, Rajwana was <coughs> arrested in December 95, and at that time, he accepted responsibility for his actions. In fact, he had a pact with uh, Dilawar Singh saying that they would not undermine the validity of the action and the importance of the action by denying responsibility. Mm -hmm. So from the very, very, honorable thing yeah, to do, yeah. very um, moment forward, they ex uh, accepted responsibility, expressed no faith in the Indian justice system, refused to have any legal defense. Um, and he was initially uh, arrested in December 95, and he was sentenced to death by um, Judge um, Ravi uh, Kumar Sodhi. He was awarded the death sentence on 31st of July 2007. So from initially being arrested and confessing in 1995 to 2007, that's 12 years that the trial was dragged on for. And then since 2007 till today, that's another five years. So, so it's 17, 17, years. 17 years. And it, and it shows, I mean, there is no, Sikhs have no faith in the in, Indian well, justice system. That's a system. life sentence in itself. It is. You know, it's yeah. even 17 years. I mean, in, in a normal Western uh, judicial system, 17 years is a sentence that's once served. And, and you can see a time frame and he leaves. For somebody up. who's accepted responsibility for their actions as well, I mean, mm -hmm. that's really important. And we've got to understand, we've got to respect the fact um, that um, Paisa ex accepted responsibility and didn't want any legal counsel. Uh, I have here um, some, uh, some uh, things that um, uh, Defence Counsel Amarjeet Singh Chahal said in the case, because uh, along with Paisa, there was uh, many other people arrested, 11 Sikhs arrested, and there was m uh, many people involved in the case. Um, Bian Singh said um, at, at the time uh, uh, in court, 
that the rule of uh, Beyond Singh was worse than that of the Mughals and the British, uh, Jahal argued, keeping in view the political, social, religious and other circumstances at the time, it has to be accepted that the killing of Beyond Singh was not for any personal reasons. Beyond Singh came to power by securing votes to the extent of mere 6%. As the other major political parties boycotted the Punjab elections held in 1992. During that period of Beyond Singh as Chief Minister and up to his death, there were countless false encounters wherein innocent Sikhs were killed. The violation of law was so enormous that it surpassed the Mughal period, Chahal argued. Beyond Singh represented no one in Punjab and was a tool in the hands of the central government. The forced disappearances of which uh, cholera was investigated very famously and he was himself disappeared. Was that era, was that period of time? Yeah, it was it? that period of time. Mm -hmm. So, the forced disappearances at the hands of Punjab police, custodial deaths, um, which we've seen recently again uh, with Bai Kulwant Singh, uh, tortures in police stations, raping of women and killing of innocent young uh, people at the hands of the Punjab police took place. Uh, and Jahal goes on further to say, so the killing of late Beyant Singh was not a pure and simple murder but a divine killing that has been done by all incarnations worshipped in India. So as per the Indian Penal Code, the assassination constitutes the offence of murder, but the system of governing of that time itself compelled the people to act in such a manner. The quantum of punishment must be decided by taking into account these compelling circumstances. So he's saying that even though it, it went against the law at the time, but you've got to take into in, consideration in the, context, yeah. the circumstances of the time. And we know, um, I mean, if we're going by what was legal and what was right, 1984, what happened there was legal. Mm -hmm. The oppression under the Mughal Empire of the Sikhs, that was legal. Mm -hmm. That's right. The oppression of the Sikhs under the British Raj, that was legal. Exactly. Yeah. So where do you draw the line of what's legal and what's our moral responsibility mm -hmm. to resist such atrocities? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, also touching what you said, that if you do a wiki search um, on, on, on the Chief Minister Beyond Singh, I mean, this is on, on Wikipedia, and it says, Amnesty International reported that from 1983 to 1994, the Punjab police responded against terrorism well, it's terrorism, with a crackdown, illegally detaining, torturing and killing hundreds of young men. Now, the Human Rights Watch, HRW, reported, that, that also reported that the government's response to stamp out terrorism, as they called it, resulted in further serious human rights violations against tens of thousands. Now, this, 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 these are uh, recognised bodies making these statements. But I think, you know, I think being detached here, I think we don't understand maybe the role of what a chief minister is. I don't know if anyone can come in on that. Um, but I think we were discussing. I mean, um, I mean, Sugbisi, maybe say, what is the chief? What is the chief minister? I mean, you know, chief minister, um, federation states, so like India, uh, a union of, of of separate states, is a very high ranking position. The the clearest or the, the closest sort of example or, or comparison you could make is a U.S. senator. Mm -hmm. So it's a very high ranking position. Obviously, with regards to Beyond, it was illegitimate since they weren't uh, fair elections, they weren't fair and free elections. Mm -hmm. So he was basically there in charge of uh, the state to try and handle it and to... to so all state affairs, he'd have responsibility he for would, all state. So his like his him, portfolio really. would cover the whole state. And, and of course, it, at the time, uh, Punjab was really being governed by the central government anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, emergency laws had been brought in. It was, a, it was a disrupted area. So therefore, all control really was being handled by Delhi and they needed somebody who was subservient enough to do exactly what their bidding was. And, you know, another, another sort of area which, or, or another factor within this is the fact that at the time Beyant Singh was from the Sikh community, KP Gill from the Sikh community, and, you know, in Punjabi, we do say, mm. so basically the idea is if, if, if somebody knows you inside out, they know what your weaknesses are, they know how to, how to get to you very quickly. And it was from uh, the, the change between Rubiro, who was the uh, chief of police prior to KP Gill, that we saw a big sea change in the way that the police started to deal with Sikhs who were basically getting together to try and protest and try and uh, uh, try and do something to free Punjab from what was uh, a reign of terror which was brought on by the paramilitaries and by the police. So from that point forward, KP Gill, in, in his own words, said, after Beant came in, as in my hands were untied, mm. I had free, free reign to do what I want. So this, uh, the policy of releasing black cats who were basically uh, known murderers, rapists, the lowest of the low, really, in cr criminality. These people were released from prison. This is something which Gill openly admits. 
uh, they, were, they were asked to grow their beards and their hair, to, exactly, to, to, to infiltrate. And not just infiltrate, the idea was really to kill the people's support for the movement. You see, in the sense that the, peop- the, the, the Sings who were part of the freedom movement, who were there agitating for the freedom, uh, when in conversation they were asked, look, you know, you guys fight on the plains of Punjab, in Kashmir, they've got jungles, they've got this, that, you know, they've got all these places to go and hide, and they come out, they fight, and then they go back. Where's your jungle? You don't have a jungle. You're on, you're on plains of Punjab. Where are you going to hide? And they said, the people are our jungle. Mm-hmm. And the people were, because the people knew what the Sings were doing, and they had full faith mm-hmm. and respect in that, and they helped the Sings. Gill knew this, and Gill knew that he had to cut that support away, and he, he knew he could do that by discrediting the movement. So a lot, if not all, of the things which have been associated or been given uh, as being uh, seat crimes, so attacking villagers, uh, taking out uh, personal vendettas on people, kidnappings, etc., etc., you can lay that at the feet of uh, Gill and Beyond's strategy, really, to try and undermine any support for the Sikhs, and it worked very well for them. I mean, okay, we're 20 years on now, or 20 so years on. Why should we have this emotion now? Why, why should we feel that? I think, I mean, I'd like you to step in that because I think there was something um, I'd like to bring early into the discussion that you mentioned before, yeah? The reason why um, a lot of Sikhs are feeling raw and um, saddened and angry about this is because these injustices are happening continuously. They've gone on since, you know, 1978 to date. Um, in more recent times, just this year, I've cited a few, I've made a little list of things that have happened just this year that have really upset Sikhs um, throughout, you know, throughout the world. Um, it, last year, we saw a series of um, um, it was one incident after another, after another. Sikhs are not able to react in Punjab because they're not getting the news that this has happened. Um, this has continued to happen just, uh, I think, a week back or two weeks ago in Mumbai. There was another incident. It's like there's only so much you can take. Um, in January, we saw a, se- a 17-year-old Shaheed, Veer Singh Hira. Um, the images as well. I, mean, this, this I was images. just about to say, when, yeah. you, when you see the images, uh, Veer Singh is in his kashera and you can see his body is dislocated. Mm-hmm. 17-year-old Shaheed died at the hands of the, um, the Punjab police and... Today, we're, we're, still, we're still expecting an explanation. What happened? We don't know. It's just another Amrit Dari Sikh that has been killed. We've got um, Bai Kulwan Singh Ji last month. He was, he's been tortured for years and uh, was burnt to death. Again, no explanation. This was done in police custody. No explanation. So there's other um, incidents as well. We've got um, Bai Kulwan Singh Ji, obviously, um, who's been sentenced to death. We've got... Um, just yesterday, not many people are aware, but just yesterday we've um, received reports that Bai Sohan, Sohanjit Singh has died, another Amritdari Sikh that has died in Sikh custody, just yesterday in Punjab. And we've got, um, whilst all of this is going on, last week, uh, sorry, last, uh, last month we had Bai, uh, sorry, last month we had Kishori Lal, who, who killed several uh, Sikhs during the 1984 um, massacre in Delhi. He killed many, many Sikhs, and he was sentenced to death uh, seven times. Seven times he, he was sentenced to death, but um, he ended up having a, a life sentence, and the government had intentions to release him to the public. So whilst we're getting killed, our, our Sikhs are getting killed in police custody, and we're getting no explanation as to why this is. We've got um, Kishori Lal, who has been... Um, and he's given the title of Butcher of Delhi, I think, if Butcher, I'm not mistaken. That, that's correct. That, uh, but title. at that time, at that time when the decision was made to release him, the whole Professor Devinder Palsing thing was going on. Um, with Kashori Lal, there was many um, witnesses that witnessed what he did. That you know, he he was a butcher by profession anyway. Mm-hmm. So prior to butchering the Sikhs, he knew you know about butchery. You know, it's his mm-hmm. profession. But um, yeah. Witnesses against him. There's no witnesses against Professor Devinder Pal Singh Bulla. So it's like, yet yeah, he's, you, yet people are so determined to hang him. You had, I think there was three volunteers that wanted to be the hangman in Punjab for Professor Devinder Pal Singh Bulla. To me and to many others, it just seems like um, 
the government likes to see, you know, our, our faces, our dari, our dastar in a noose, you know, that's how it seems. So I think that's why a lot of I people are you, feeling you know, raw. You're right, questions need to be asked. You know, when you put comparisons forward and you look at uh, Kishori Lal and you, and you look at this history build up, we've got the right to have the emotion and we've got the right to, to ask those questions. But I mean, okay, we're talking about it in a Sikh environment. You know, we're fortunate we have a Sikh channel that discusses these issues. We probably go onto Google and we search for these stories by typing in Sikh into Google, I don't know, and, and we get these stories. That's how I get my news, news feeds every day. But most people don't. Arm Sangat, Arm Punjabi community don't actually have a connection, don't understand what's going on. Um, and there is a, there's a media breakdown in that. And I mean, I've got to confess that I did know nothing about Pai Balwan Singh Rajwana until the announcement um, of, of the sentence. And I got a Google alert and I thought, what's going on here? I, I, I looked up a news article. There was a news article. And I said, this is interesting. It's a death sentence. You know, we've, we've all known about Professor Buller. Um, we've all known about um, uh, Jaklal Singh Hawara. You know, and I said, where's, where's, you know, am I cut off? I, I think I'm quite, I, I'm quite a connected guy. And I felt quite cut off from this. Went on YouTube, saw a few videos, and I thought, wow, you know, this guy's, you know, um, this thing's amazing, you know, it's quite an amazing looking thing, you know, I read about the Amritsar child, read about the will, read about, you know, what, what his viewpoints are, but, you know, Munmogan, maybe I'll talk to you, do you know, where, where do you think this is breaking down, why is, is the media, I mean, the, okay, we can't blame the media, yeah. but is the media not picking up on it, are we not interested as a community, you know, what's going what's on? what's happened over the, over the years, I've mean, seen so many, like, like King was saying, over the last year, we've seen so many Biadavis of Sri Guru Granth Maharaj, we're becoming a little bit immune to them. And I think as you, you're seeing so many Shidya ke Aesnu Pansi Charta, Enu Pansi Charta, I think they're trying to make us become also like systematical killing has continued by a different fashion now. Mm. First it was brutal, upfront, like you said, KPS Guru done it openly. Now they know the international community is watching, so they're now they're challenging it mm. through the prisons, through false cases, through false uh, witnesses. And I think Sikhs have become so moderate now, I think, especially on the outside of Punjabis, or even in Punjab these days, that they want to disconnect themselves almost. They're now so engrossed within their own self-development, they're not looking at the development of the Panth anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest difference. I mean, you bring in the concept of, of his hanging coming along. Now, if you look at Paitaru Singh, right? Paitaru Singh, in his time, he had no crime against him. Mm -hmm. The other thing Singh did back in his in time, the 60s, he provided longer to people who were fighting against, again, human rights activists. Mm -hmm. right. And if you look at today, and when Pai Taurus was arrested and he was going to be tried to execution, he said to the Sikhs, you know what, nobody make a fuss. Mm -hmm. Man, obviously they're going to take me, they're going to do what they're going to do, execute me, but I don't want Sikhs to make a fuss about it. I don't want any of the Sikhs to lose their life over mine, right? But that didn't stop the Sikhs though. So can I fear we They still tried. They tried to stop the execution, they tried to um, ambush um, the, um, uh, the Savari of Paitaru Singh a few times, but they weren't successful. So I would say, you know what, there is still passion out there. But I think two things are happening. One thing is that Sikhs are made to become disconnected mm -hmm. yeah, by putting them into this whole eco-sociological disruption in Punjab. There's a massive disruption in Punjab, especially on economic stance. There's confusion. A confusion out there, yeah. yeah. Sikhs have lost identity now. Mm -hmm. After so many Sikhs come from Punjab now, you know what they say? Mm -hmm. How many Sikhs are saying that? And I'm mm -hmm. gobsmacked. This is Punjab. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is what you got left in you. It's a very common yeah? statement. And that's, that's the first thing. And the second thing is now, Sikh are, Sikhs themselves are now seeing Panthik. Uh, uh, these people were not terrorists. Mm -hmm. They were human rights activists. Mm -hmm. They had to go the extra mile to bring these people to justice. Because you know what? Like you just said, the Indian justice system wasn't doing it. So I think if we want to, we really got to re-engage ourselves to see, you know what, holy holy, we're going to lose Punjab as completely as a Sikh homeland mm -hmm. if this continues to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, just in addition to what Faisal was saying earlier on, I'd like to express um, some concerns for the future. Because um, right now, if you look at the situation in Punjab, there's a chief minister who's been re-elected, uh, Prakash Singh Badal, um, and against him there's been uh, numerous allegations um, levied against him and his character and his motives and his interest in, in the Sikh nation and his mm. values and, and whether the fact that he also is a tool of the central administration. So there's been many allegations against him. Uh, and he um, today uh, appointed as the DGP, the Director General of Punjab Police, he appointed Sumit uh, Saini. Very concerning. That's Sumit right, yeah. Saini was the guy who murdered Professor Devinder Singh Puller's um, 
Family well, members. Family yeah. members. And he, ha he had some allegations against him. And mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a, a pending cases against him. So we're looking at the same kind of situation. I mean, the, the last uh, time we had this kind of combination, we had the CM was Beyonce Singh and the DGP was KPS Gill. So, I mean, it's what's going to happen? Isn't it? It's a repeat. Almost what's going to happen in the future? In mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, th I, I think... Uh, I think certainly we, you know, it, it's a cyclical thing. The um, we if we look back to um, if we look back to 2004, we saw a similar sort of situation beginning to arise. It, it, it probably takes about 20 odd years for a generation to rise, and they're very very conscious of that. And uh, the idea really is to try and cut the roots from from their core. So you know, within within Sikhism, where you know within Japaji Seb, we're told be 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 he kai. They, they realise this, and they want to tear the, the, the roots away from, from those saplings because they see what really can happen and what, what's likely to happen to them around the corner as well. I think it's important also to understand why um, Bai Saab did what he did and why other things did what he did. I think, you know, incorrectly we sometimes think of vengeance, you know, as this being some kind of revenge act. Mm -hmm. It's not revenge. It's a matter of taking justice. And, the ha and, the, and if, if in the absence of a... Of a Operating normally operating judiciary, where justice is 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 the law or sorry is the duty of the state. It then falls onto individuals, and it's also important to note that Baisab and the other Singhs weren't out there uh, killing people who'd killed their family, who'd had a direct impact on their family. They were ready and they were willing to give their life in order to get justice for people that they didn't even it's directly know. It is pure, it is pure seba. Mm -hmm. It's absolute seba. And I think a very important factor in, in this as well is that wherever Sikhs have gone and taken justice, so in the case of Indira Gandhi, in the case of Lalith Mukha, in the case of General Vidya, in this case, they've done it and they've said, yes, we've done it. Mm -hmm. We've done it. And mm -hmm. and we'd do it again. Mm -hmm. Now, contrast that to the Indian situation, where you've got thousands upon thousands. Let's just look at Delhi in, in, in isolation. 3,000, that's the government's own figures for that. Where are the people that are saying, actually, yes, we did the right thing? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you were so hurt and so, so, uh, so put out by the, the assassination of Indira Gandhi, then stand, stand by your convictions, have the strength of your convictions, say, yes, and we did it and we do it again. Where are these people? They're not yeah. there. Yeah. See, yeah. The, the truth of the matter is, if you're proud of what you do, you'll stand by it. And if you're ashamed, you'll deny it yeah. you know and, and again with them with we were talking about previous tyrants previous administrations you look at the muggles the muggles did what they did they never denied it mm -hmm. yeah. the british did what they did and when the british did something which they weren't which they felt had been a little bit over the mark and i'm not saying here for one second that the british were um you know in, in some way looking after india or looking after the sikhs they were out there for their own interest and that's fine but when they did overstep the mark as in the case with jalal Bagh, that was roundly within the houses of parliament on both sides of the house that was condemned it was condemned by the media by the times by the newspaper the Telegraph of the day, it was condemned within England. It was seen as a terrible act, and it was also seen as the beginning of the end of British rule in India. Contrast that with Blue Star. It was roundly applauded within uh, the Lok Sabha on all sides of the house, with the exception of the Akali Dal. And within the Indian media, uh, Indra was portrayed as once again Durga Mata. So it was a very popular movement, and it was very popular within India. And even to this date, we know that in 2000, Indra Gandhi amazingly ahead of mother teresa was uh, was basically voted by indians uh, as woman of the century she's still seen as an iconic figure I she's mean, still seen in, in, in the global in the global she, world yeah. she won the election so rajiv and indra mm -hmm. won the election in 2004 for sonia she brought in Manmohan, so he didn't actually, you know, he wasn't the he wasn't the person that was up for votes. It was Sonia. And when the when you look at the placards that people were carrying, the Congress Party were carrying in 2004, they were Rajiv and Indra, and they were saying they were saying ke Sonia nahi, te Rahul sahi. So basically, they were saying, okay, Sonia doesn't want it. Let's get Rahul in. It was Indra and Rajiv. Uh, respectively or collectively responsible for more killing of Sikhs uh, in, in the past century who were actually the people that won the election for Manmohan. Manmohan comes in at, at, after 25 years when the last inquiry into the pogroms in Delhi is about to give their uh, findings. And, and weirdly, ironically, we have a Sikh stand up uh, in Parliament and say, well, actually, um, I apologise. But I don't just apologise to the Sikhs. I apologise to the whole nation. They couldn't even allow us an apology to ourselves, yeah, no, despite no. the fact that it was entirely the Sikhs that were butchered. Fantastic. I mean, it's all good and well that we, you know, we're in the UK and we're talking about the, the, the period of the 90s as well, taking it back to the, the times of Beyonce as well. 
and the 90s and, and you know you know we've got college students uni students you know little kids at the time you know in a, in a nation so people in, in, in India could be saying you know pata, you know what do you know about what's going on but um, if I just like to go to the Benji here, I mean, I know you had, a, you know, I don't know you wanted to say something else as well, but to see the Jame Palesi at that time, to see the Sege, you know, to see the Sakade, you know, what was the Halat Kadan Sea? Experience. Yeah, feeling Kisi, or the Oz time. Yeah, I was, uh, <clears throat> I think I was in the school time when ah, dancing yeah. was killed. It was it was really, Pella Pella, a revolutionary. Uh, एक टाइम भी आया उस टाइम दे विच की सिगा स्कूला दी यूनिफॉर्म भी चेंज हो गई सी एक टाइम से के केसरी चुनिया लंदे सिगे एंड दे जस्ट स्टॉप द वेस्टर्न स्कर्ट्स फॉर गर्ल्स इन स्कूल ओ सारा कुछ बंद हो गया सी वर वेयरिंग वाइट सूट्स विद केसरी दुपट्टा केसरी दस्तारा एवरीथिंग ते नेशनल एंथम जनगण मनिया दी जगह ते दे शिवावर मोए शुरू हो गया सीगा इट वाज रियली गुड टाइम ओ दो सानू ए स्कूलां दे विच ही पता लगया के साडा सिखां दा भी कोई नेशनल एंथम हैगा या दैट वाज दैट टाइम है ना के जिनु कोई नॉलेज नहीं सी क्योंकि नॉलेज दी जेडी प्रॉब्लम ओथे सीगी के एक तरह कह लो कि दस साल लंघ रहे हैं हौली 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 रेफन एक दिन फिर कहने ना कि अज जुलम हो रहा है सह रहे हैं पर आखिर कदों तक एक दिन त फिर उन्हें जो अंदर जो कट्ठा होया हों उन्हें निकलना ही है ना आफ्टर टेन ईयर इट वॉज अ रेवन्यूशनरी टाइम फिर बेयंत सिंह का टाइम आया बेयंत सिंह कह सकते हैं इट्स लाइक अ मुगल राज एक तरह का मुगल राज आता ही रहा है सिखा के उत्ते नहीं कि हूँ तक भी आ रहा है ये एक तरह का मुगल राज ही चल रहा है वो की होंगे आ कि इन भी पॉलिसी चेंज हों जा रही है गौरमेंट की भी वो भी चलाक होंगे जा रहे हैं शायद असं सिख थोड़े पिछे रह रहे हैं वो क्यों रह रहे हैं क्योंकि साढ़े बच्चे इन्नी यूनिटी नहीं हैगी इना अगे नहीं बद रहे हूँ क्योंकि सिखा ने सफर बहुत किया कोई लाइम लाइट आया किसी का पता नहीं लगा हले तक भी बहुत फैमिलीज ने बहुत ही फैमिलीज है जिन्हों के पता ही नहीं है किसी को मीडिया कि मैं कहीं नेबर तक नहीं पता होना कि इन्हों की बीती है कोई डरदा दसदा नहीं है कि साढ़े नाल की बीती असी की सफ़र किया है ना कई बैक सपोर्ट मिली उन्होंने किया कि नहीं मिली तो फिर वो जिमें आप कह उन्हों का भी कसूर नहीं है क्योंकि उन्होंने किसी ने सपोर्ट करने वाला नहीं मिले तो उन्होंने जीडिया अगलिए जनरेशन ने वो सिक्खी तो परा हट गई उन्होंने ये तक भी जिदा कहद डर लगेगा कि साढ़े जेडे फादर से जे ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स से वो सिक्खी वास्ते गए सिक्खी वास्ते शहीद होए क्योंकि उन्होंने अपना जोड़ा फ्यूचर है वह सेफ नहीं लगता उतो इंडिया तो बाहर निकलते हैं हूँ जिन्होंने मर्जी जाके इंडिया की फैमिली चो पुछ लो कहते सैटल कितने होना आई विल गो अब्रॉड But some of these people that have come, you know, they've given their case up, they've got involved in, in drugs, whatever. You hear about their pichla, and their pichla, you know, they've got parents that... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, they were in the movement. I see one person, he's in jail. You know, we were in jail. Yeah. And I think so, and you look at him now, and you look at the state of him, and so you think, what's going on with the next generation? It's almost a fair dargeya. कई डर भी गए ने कई जो तुम इतना देखो कि कई स्टूडेंट्स इतने आते हैं इतने आके केसा धारी हो रहे हैं दूजे पास भी हों पर जी प्रॉब्लम मेन चलती आ रही है इस करके है क्योंकि उत्थे साफ्टी नहीं हैगी जी सब तो वही गल है कि वी आर नॉट सेफ देयर हले तक भी सेफ नहीं है ऑन माई परसनल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू भी कि हले तक सेफ नहीं है हले भी की हों के हो रहा है बॉम्बे कुछ तो पंजाब इंप्रैशन चल रहा वर यू इनवॉल्व इन दैट इंसीडेंट वो बंदा पंजाब के बैठा आ सेम टाइम हाउ खी ही कैन गो इन बॉम्बे के इन्ना कोई वो रिच बंदा नहीं है कि वो एक टाइम के बॉम्बे भी हो सकता है फ्लाई करके एक बार एक मिनट भी हो सकता है Well, I mean, it seems even with uh, Bible one singer Joanna. I mean, there's several cases. If I'm not mistaken, there's probably several cases on him as well. I think it works like that with many people that they they put into into prison. Not just one case on them; they have several cases on them as well. Yeah. 
and they implement, uh, implicate them in, in different scenarios. You know, you were here at that time, yeah. or you were here at uh, this time. And the, the, it's, a, it's just a, it's like a judicial trick just to keep them locked up in a, a process of litigation so that, you know, the one case can't finish. They know that these people, I mean, they're not stupid, they're intelligence agencies. They know that these people have an impact within the community, so they want to keep them within prison, they want to keep them locked up. I mean, look at Professor Devinder Singh mm. Puller. I mean, he's he's got uh, no case. The case against him is pure wind. There's there's no witnesses, nothing. Yet he's on, on uh, death row. And um, in by uh, Balwant Singh's case, I mean, if we look at um, his family, um, his he's uh, he's been adopted into the family of by uh, Harpinder Singh uh, Goldi, who's also a shaheed. Mm -hmm. um, and by Harpinder Singh Goldi has uh, two. Um, sisters one of them you mentioned um, bb uh, kamaldeep kaur is named on the will mm -hmm. of bible Balwan singh and the other sister bb amandeep kaur was also shaheed um in uh she really? was, yeah oh, she was okay, treated okay. brutally mm -hmm. by the punjab police um her, her father and brother were abused in front of her um she was maltreated and she was subject to all sorts of violence and then eventually she was shot by uh, the punjab police in 1992 so you know it's a, it's a whole environment of as benji said it's an environment of persecution and oppression, and um, Sikhs, we are, we are peace-loving people. To us, it's our dharam. It's the absolute last resort um, to pick up weapons. And for a police officer like uh, Balwant Singh, who had no involvement in the movement, for him to come forward and to conduct such an action, I, th I think it's um, applaudable. It's just, it's just, sorry, I was just yeah. saying that. Thing. So we've got two serving police officers who prior to this would have obviously been serving and, and, and putting their lives on the line right, in, yeah. in order to protect. And we look at uh, Bhai Bian Singh, Bhai Sathwan Singh again, same situation a year beforehand. Had somebody tried to shoot Indra Gandhi, they would have taken a bullet for mm -hmm. it, which actually is a really good characterization of the Sikhs and India. Mm -hmm. You know, the Sikhs have been the shield of India since 1947. It's only when we've been pushed to such a point that, you know, if you can't protect yourself, how are you expected to protect anybody else? Uh, Bhai Beyant Singh, Bhai Satwan Singh um, did a very, uh, a very clear uh, and, and honest and open thing. There was no idea of them going there, taking Indra Gandhi's life and then escaping. The idea was, well, look, we'll trade our life for yours. We'll kill this dusht, put down our weapons, and that's enough. That wasn't enough for them. We know what happened after that, mm -hmm. you know, but the Singhs were willing to trade their life. But, you know. if, you at, if you look at this uh, whole uh, concept, um, that the fact that they um, went outside um, the rule of law to assassinate um, Beyonce Singh, um, if we look at just, I mean, recent history, we don't have to go that far back. If we look at what um, America did um, with Osama bin Laden, they went outside the rule of law, they went outside the judiciary. Mm. Um, legally, they committed extrajudicial murder. They went into Pakistan in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. uh, stealthily, and shot the guy. Um, yet, they, uh, they would say that they did what was morally right. Um, there's, there's a person that was causing difficulties for them regionally. Um, he was uh, responsible for atrocities against the American people so that they went out and they, they took the steps that they felt were necessary as an ed educated democracy, as a forward-thinking nation, they took these steps and our Singhs took these steps, the same steps mm -hmm. um, back in 1995 because there was no justice and mm -hmm. it's still the case today, which I mean, we have to realize that there is no justice for Sikhs in India, especially when it comes to our self-determination, which is a key issue. I mean, if Britain can step in on the issue of the Falkland Islands, um, which are thousands of miles away from Britain and say that they're willing to put their armed forces and get them involved because they respect the right of the Falkland Islanders to self-determination. And, and we got to look at that. I mean, we're an independent nation. What happened in 84 was the result of broken promises from 1947 onwards. If you look at our history, the amount of uh, democratic movements that there were, Morche, Punjabi, Suba movement, they weren't uh, just about Sikhs. They mm -hmm. were about our rights as a nation, but they were also about Punjabis. They were about Punjab. Mm -hmm. um, and these things we've largely been forgotten about. They're, they're very important things. And they led up to the, the events of 1978 and 1984, where the state realized that they can't, you know, deal with us in that manner. So they have to He's attack us brute force, brutally. Yeah, yeah and, and it was a legal attack as far as the law was concerned to attack our holiest Sikh shrine and kill thousands of civilians. So it's events like this that had an effect on Bhai Balwant Singh. Mm -hmm. and when you think about it, Balwant Singh as well, I mean, what's, what, one of the criticisms that, I, in a discussion I had with someone yesterday, um, and I was talking about Bhai Balwant Singh's situation in the city, but He's accepted it. You know, what, what's 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 you know what's your problem in that respect? He wants to do this. He wants he he wants to die, um, and you know maybe that's something that we sh we should be uh, 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 maybe that's the direction we should go in. 
um, uh, do that. Because I mean, at the end of the day, he's talking about a system to him that's failed. Yeah. You know, a judiciary system that's failed where there's no justice. You know, what kind of fair trial is he going to expect um, from that system? He's you know, it's a simple thing. Yeah, exactly. And, and, it's, it's, and it's, a, it's a fair comment. But I want to touch the issue about um, capital punishment because I know that that's, that's going to have an effect on, on this whole case. Um, there's only 12 or 13 days left to the 31st of March in here. So, you know, the issue of capital punishment itself, I mean, um, there's only 58 nations that actually practice capital punishment. 97 have abolished capital punishment. Um, now, the issue here, very recently, uh, there's, uh, there's a, a lobby letter that's been released by um, Sikh Federation. Um, we'll talk about it later on anyway. But there's, there's some uh, urgent action um, uh, taking place now where people are you know, looking at ways of, of creating some kind of constructive um, roller, really, constructive noise you know, around the situation. Now, um, what it said is that India is preparing to break its moratorium, or uh, moratorium means suspension, on the death penalty by hanging Balwant Singh on the 31st of March um, you know, at Patiala. Now, the last person, this is interesting to note this, and we've got to see in what kind of context you know, this is going to come into. Yeah? The last person to be hung in India was in 2004. Yeah, and that, that person was uh, Dhananjoy Chatterjee from Kolkata, a yeah? 41-year-old uh, former security guard who was hanged for the rape and murder of a 14-year-old schoolgirl. That's a paedophile. Because okay, that was the last person that was hung in India in 2004. You know, I, I believe in the last 24 years, there hasn't been a hanging, an official hanging in Punjab. Okay, so, the, the, you know, so, that's not, so there's, there's a big message around this, this whole thing. You, know, you, you can read into it and you can see that there's, there is a message around it. Now, uh, in recent years, I know we keep going back to Amnesty, but it's a recognized uh, charity. It's a recognized international charity. In recent years, Am Amnesty International has welcomed the lack of executions in India, with the last one taking place in 2004. This is official. But it's expressed a, con a concern that at least 50 death sentences are passed each year by Indian courts. Now, speaking to uh, 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 Jit Singh uh, earlier on from Sikh Federation, you can ask him the question. I said, you know, is it known? Do we know how many Sikhs are on death row? Uh, how many people in India are on death row? Let alone Sikhs first. How many people in India are on death row? And, and I think he said they believe an estimate around about 400 plus. But in terms of how many Sikhs are on death row, and I think that was a very hard question to, to get answered. But I think we, between us, we've sort of come to the conclusion that as far as we know, and that's, that's the big thing, as far as we know, the Sikhs on death row are Professor Davinder Pal Singh Puller and possibly the 11 uh, accused in the, uh, in the murder uh, or the assassination of the chief minister. Yeah, so, yeah, the CBI is um, appealing against uh, the other... There's many people involved. There's 11 um, people that have been implicated and the CBI is appealing for the death sentence for those 11 Sikhs and they include uh, the names you mentioned before by, uh, by uh, um, Jibdar Singh Havara. Yeah, yeah. And which, which, yeah, exactly. Um, which, I mean, so what you're saying is there could be more... There could be more. I mean, maybe yeah. this is going to be a catalyst. Maybe they're going to start with this one yeah. and then systematically bring well, them in. I think in. it's been a wake-up call. I mean, if you look at it like that, we weren't so talking if we about can, this last if week. We can some, if we can obviously stop this, and that will obviously show that obviously we can actually create an awareness system. There, ha there has to be and some... We can do that. There has to be some constructive noise And it has been it. done. I mean, Pula Saab's uh, death has been come a few times. And the international pressure has been applied and it's been delayed and delayed. Is and that I because there's Western input into that? I mean, really, if you look at it, yes. a, a story doesn't really get picked up no. uh, unless it's got Western Sikh, Western Sikhs take it up as an issue. So what yeah, you're but, saying is very good. That means we have a very strong clout as outside Sikhs. Sometimes people watching the program are saying, Sardar Roljara is very minimal. Actually, it's not. You've got more of a stronger... Um, 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 you know, voice and uh, whatever you do here will have a bigger impact in India because in internationally, if I'm not wrong, see, India is very concerned about its image internationally it's and they want to preserve that at every cost. And these kind of things, when they highlight to the national media, on our, our national integrity is at stake. Mm -hmm. So, well, your voice, points, so particularly points. So, like Devinder Pal Singh Pullar, uh, as an example, um, there was a statement by one of the judges in that in that case, and he said something uh, along the lines of uh, beyond reasonable doubt is a guideline and not a fetish. Mm -hmm. now, anybody that knows anything about law knows that that's, that's just an incredible <laughs> statement. statement. Incre and for a, for, a, for a high court judge to make that statement is unbelievable. Now, for us to repeat that in, in the Western media, just that one statement, it does for people that know what they're talking about. That, that, yeah, that it has a big impact. Mm -hmm. That, along with talking about the TADA laws, the fact that TADA allowed 
um, confessions or evidence which is obtained under torture to be admissible as evidence, which mm. again is unbelievable and regarded uh, universally as very, very black laws. So it's not that you know India doesn't have a judiciary or a judicial system in the sense that there is one there and it operates well when it dependent upon who the victim and who the perpetrator is. So Manmohan recently talked about the uh, the, the 80, 84 situation pogroms and he said, well, the, you know, the Indian judici judicial system moves very slowly and it's got its own inherent problems. What he's trying to do is fob it off and say, well, actually, it's not, it's not that we don't want to get justice for the Sikhs, it's that the system moves very slowly. But if we look at other examples, so we look at 1984, amazingly, the first man that was charged with murder uh, in the wake of the 1984 killings of thousands of Sikhs, was himself a Sikh. He was uh, uh, an ex-Air uh, Force um, uh, um, uh, officer, mm -hmm. and he had got, come out and he defended his family against a mob of about six, 700 people. Uh, he'd fired a shot. He was the first man that was arrested on the 1st of November. So the first person to be arrested in the killing of upwards of 3,000 Sikhs was himself a Sikh. Which a, a very un unknown fact that. Well, it's, 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 it's an amazing fact. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and, and we, again, if we, if we look at uh, justice and how justice is obtained, we look at Lala Tamukkan, who was a, a Congress Party worker, who, uh, again, uh, cited in numerous affidavits as being somebody who exalted the crowds to go out and kill Sikhs, handing out uh, bonuses for money, handing out bottles of alcohol, coming to the same places, gathering these people up and mm -hmm. inciting them to go and kill Sikhs. Now, this man, he was, uh, you know, basically, Bhai Ranjit Singh took... Uh, uh, basically brought justice for the victims of, of this man's crimes. Byron Jeet Singh then fled to the US. The Indian government managed to pursue him across international borders. Is that borders. Byron Jeet Singh Gill? Is that the... Byron Jeet Singh Gill, yeah. 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 He managed to pursue him across international borders, across jurisdictions, used Interpol mm -hmm. to bring him back to India to face justice. Now, the people, that was, that was for one Singh who killed one Congress worker. For the people that have killed, that have got the blood of hundreds, if not thousands, on their hands, who were in with, within walking distance of the police station, exactly. they yes. cannot be brought to justice. So it's not that there isn't justice, it depends who you are, it's selective. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, just the, the judicial system, like, like the other uh, arms of the Indian government and the Indian administration, are used as a weapon against the Sikhs. Mm -hmm. What is Tard, I, I think, for, um, maybe someone in the audience can say this, I think for the people at home as well, perhaps we come across the word Tarda. Coming up, I don't know if there's anyone that can just quickly, maybe in a very, very short, um, you know, just briefly explain what, what exactly is Tarda. You know, how has it affected um, the Sikhs? Well, Tarda was the, uh, the, the Terrorist and Disrupted Areas Act, basically mm. a, an act which was brought in to just allow, and it, it, I mean, it, it, partly not necessary because the, the, the police were acting extrajudicially anyway, mm -hmm. but they decided to bring it in just to make that easier. Sings were getting involved with, with the movement and they felt that the only way to suppress the people was to go out all out to, to, to crush them. So for the Sikhs, as an example of, of this, had the Sikhs decided that the means justify the ends in the way that the Indians have, then I've no doubt that we could have obtained a independent state. I think it was possible. If the Sikhs had taken the fight from the plains of the Punjab, decided that they would attack indiscriminately in metropolises like Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, then there was no doubt that we would have been able to apply enough pressure to get what we want. But would that have been a legitimate Sikh state? I'd say it isn't, because just for us, the means are very important. They don't justify the ends. With the Indians, it doesn't matter how they manage to achieve what they achieve. It, it, it's the ends which matter. But equally, if India's managed to keep hold of Punjab and suppress the Sikhs through the use of mass crime, mm -hmm. they hold no legitimacy either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. Uh, that, I mean, let's get back to uh, the capital punishment um, of, of, uh, of uh, Bhagavan Singh. I mean, does anyone in the audience want to, to come in on that? Does you want to come in on I think an important point to notice is that obviously it's it, a lot of the uh, organisations which are against death penalty. The, the point they will they will, they will make is that um, death penalty is nothing more than a political statement. Mm -hmm. And so, for a country like India not to have done a death, do not to have sentenced anybody for since two thousand and four to enter in back into uh, execution by via mm -hmm. um, first of all picking on a, a Sikh individual. Um, as you know, there are other people who also are on death row. You'll have um, the, uh, mur the uh, murders of uh, Rajiv Gandhi. The three of them. The yeah, three of them. The yeah, you've you've also got the uh, individuals Kassam. who are 
uh, Kasab who was in uh, the Mumbai killings. Yeah, yeah. So again, it 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 just feels that there's nothing more than just a political angle. It's a signal. It's I a mean, signal to to, to start the ball rolling and it's to pick on the get on on those who who they feel like they they you know they're proving that they're second class citizens. Mm -hmm. But what should we as a Sikh community? What should our reaction be? Because I think there's mixed mixed views on this in terms of how, how to should accept. We take this forward? Yeah, I mean, what's the what's the? Yeah, what should we do now? And like you just said, now what is our next step? At the end of the day, he's a diamond of the comb. You know, there's, you, uh, we've got political people out there who, who claim to be Sikhs and they won't do anything, they won't even do half of what, what this thing's done for the comb and what he stands for now. Mm -hmm. We really have to hold on to these individuals. We've, we, we can't say, we can't let these individuals, we can't say bye-bye to them. We need to hold on to them, we need to hold them and we need to make sure that these are the people who are standing to take the punt forward, take the comb forward. I mean, certainly, I mean, iconic figures. You look at, we look at people like uh, Sukha and Jinda, very iconically. You know, we look at uh, Satwan Singh, Bian Singh, we look at uh, uh, Kher Singh, Pai Taru Singh, Pai, uh, Pai Mani Singh. You know, we look at them, iconic figures. Okay, now you've got this situation here, okay, Kalu, you know, he's going to be Shaheed. Now, Kalu, now, if we turn the clock back, if we had a chance to do it, done, had some kind of impact on, on Pai Sukha Jinda's uh, hanging, uh, would we have done something? You know, we were little kids then at the time, possibly. Maybe we didn't have the same clout and the same, uh, you know, yeah, understanding that we had now. But we do, we're a bit more clever now. I believe we are. Okay, there's more intelligence in us. We've learned a little bit more. Can't we do something? Should we, or should we be doing something? Shouldn't we be doing something? Mine's a bit of a depressive point, uh, which is that I, I thought that the way you can move forward is by using the social media. You can use Facebook, YouTube. I've seen some of the, some of the videos that you've seen are on YouTube, so mm -hmm. you can see them being recorded from the mobile phones in India. That's good, and you can use those resources. But the problem is now, as far as I know, India are trying to create a filter on social media in India. So if you were to type in, for example, Indira Gandhi murder or anything, like, anything related to the 84 programs, anything like that, they would be excluded from your results. So they can't see it in India? I didn't realise that. Yeah, okay. well, it's not, it's not being confirmed now, but Google okay. has actually, I think uh, out of about a thousand requests, they've, they've, they've complied with about 500. So mm -hmm. it's becoming slightly difficult. We think that, okay, don't fight, because looking at, I think it was a program yesterday about the uh, Tamil yeah. tigers and Sri Lankan killings. I, I would any really minority trust people to watch that program if they get a chance. Yeah, um, I mean, it seems that any minority which wants to strike out, if, the, if they can't use social media, they try and they, they just turn to... Violent means, and once they do that, once they arm themselves, if it's a minority, then they're seen seen as being terrorists, mm. which is like Pindrawala. We th think of him as a terrorist, but if it's a majority, like in Libya, let's say they, I mean, they're all Muslim, the the, I don't know, mm -hmm. the kings or whatever. They're all the polit politicians in Libya and Syria. They're all they all believers in Islam, but because they're a majority, mm. peop people countries from the West are actually giving weapons to them, mm. whereas if it's a minority, then they're seen as terrorists because they don't have a cause. And it just seems like, I, I personally feel the only way you can move forward is by using um, YouTube and recording and, and pr pr providing evidence. Look at the Kony video recently, the Ugandan uh, yeah. the, whatever, army, the Lord's Re Republic Army, whatever, mm. I don't know. But look how that, uh, how that mm. was sent virally um, and how, how, you know, that issue. No one knew about Kony um, yeah. a week ago, two weeks yeah, ago, you hard. know. But how comes we haven't tapped into that? I, 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 I feel to see how we haven't tapped into that. When, when they... Sri Lankan, when the Tamil um, documentaries came out on Channel 4, The Killings, mm. um, they went out there and did a very simple campaign. In we live in an area where there's a big Tamil community mm. in this area. And they did a simple leaflet dropping campaign. What they did is I got, one day got a leaflet in the letterbox and said, watch this documentary. Simple, typed on a piece of paper. But someone went to the pain of actually going out there to the non-Tamil community and, and, and you know, explain, uh, explaining that this documentary is on Watch It. And to be honest with you, I knew very little about what was going on in Sri Lanka at the time. It doesn't really have much of interest, but it was shocking. It was shocking, but it opened the world's eyes to, to the situation. I think that's a good cause, doing that. But I think Sikhs are above just defending their own. I think that's where we've... If you see typically a Sikh on Facebook or something, when they put up something of a cause, which they are trying to kind of fulfill, it's always to do with Sikh murders or something, uh, injustice against the Sikhs. Whereas, I mean, I would like to think that Sikhs are also um, trying to... Um, spread the message of what's going on against the Tamils in, in Syria, everything, not just what's going on. And, and if you can put yourself to that level where you are reporting injustice against anyone, then hopefully people will pay more attention to you. True. Instead of just defending your own, they think that those are Sikhs, again, they're moaning about themselves instead of defending other faiths, which is what we, uh, we stand for. Mm -hmm.
So we, if we would, one suggestion is then, okay, we use the social media hmm. to, to raise awareness. How can we now raise awareness in terms of this case? Because we've got, well, literally, what, 20 odd days 12, now? No, less than that. Less 12, than 12, 12 days. 12 days. Until the execution. I mean, what means, what pressure do we do, we need to apply now to try and stop this ex execution? Because that's the next thing we've got to try and do. Because people at home are going to want to know as well, what can we do on a practical level? And if you've heard today's discussion, I'm pretty sure everybody's, it's quite intense in today. If, if you're sitting here, I'm pretty sure you can feel the intensity of today's conversation and, dis, dis, and discussion. So everybody's quite passionate in terms of what we can do next. Is there not a letter? I mean, yes. Yeah, but if there's a pre-written letter, yeah. potentially you could just if print out the template. Can I jump in on this? Um, first, I'd like to, um, there's a video on YouTube in which okay. uh, by Balwant Singh was asked, um, the guy asks him in Punjabi, um, on one hand, you've accepted the death sentence, and on and on the other, people are making repeated petitions against the sentence. And I actually wrote down what Baisav said in response to this when he was asked this question. Mm -hmm. um, first, I read in Punjabi. Baisav said, "Sik rveta da kan hai, Khalsa ne kadi vi rem ni mangya, je matlab kom ek siyasi moka prasti de karan Khalsa ji komi kadra kinta nu ta lai jari hai." एक व्यक्ति दे रहम दे पिछे समूची कौम दा उना कातला तो रहम मंगना एक बहुत मंद पागी कटना सो बेसिकली द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ दिस इज बाय सब सेइंग दैट दिस इज अ डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सिख ट्रेडिशंस द खालसा हैज नेवर आस्क्ड फॉर मर्सी इफ द नेशन बिकॉज़ ऑफ ऑपर्चुनिस्टिक पॉलिटिकल रीजंस आस्क्स फॉर मर्सी खालसा जी देन द रिस्पेक्ट एंड वैल्यूज ऑफ द नेशन आर बीइंग अंडरमाइंड it is a very ill-fated occurrence that for the mercy of one person, the nation seeks mercy from the very murderers and oppressors of the nation. And we've really got to realize what Baisa is saying here. We're deluding ourselves in thinking that by opposing the death penalty, that we are in some way involved, in that we are have a voice as equal citizens in India, in the governance of India. I mean, Sanchi said that we have to realize that we are slaves under the regime. And only realization of this will help us to think the way that Paisav thinks. Um, and Paisav realizes that even by being free, he still is not going to be free. That's not going to. If you let him go from prison today, that doesn't give him freedom. That goes against what he's he's but in surely prison. Surely, him being free for. from from the class, he'll have more. Um, you know, people will be out to support him. Like you know, Paisav, surely he's he, been he, in jail he, for he seventeen years. No one even knew what he was there for. And if he does get let off of this death sentence, they're not going to let him out. He's going to rot in prison for the rest of his life. I think we should salute and we should applaud his decision in. Uh, accepting the only justice that the Indian justice system, so-called justice system, has to offer, and that is Fonsi. And that's the justice that's always been given to Sikhs, and that's the justice that they love to accept. I think you'll get opposing, you probably, I mean... He's I put his life on the line for the values that surely he believes in. That, that's that, the that, ultimate gamble. Surely that's more, more of a reason to preserve that life, to let that life flourish, to see... Because there's someone that was a, was a prime example, and he's come out, and he's done so, so much more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we need to get out of this whole cloud of just never, dying and dying. never going to get let out. Baisab's never going to get let I think I'd, I'd be inclined to agree with, with Baisab there as well. But I, I think, you know, maybe the way we should look at this is Baisab's doing his duty. We've got to do our duty. Exactly. Right? Yes. We've got, got to do our stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. That's Bure. their duty or career. Yeah. We can never criticise no. Baisab. We, we're not even on the level to be able to, you know, we, uh, we're nowhere near. But certainly it's down to us to do our duty. And even if that is just to raise awareness, we're not asking Bikini up on Mangri. We're not asking them for anything. They're not going to give us anything. They never have up until this day. Why should they now? Yeah. People were talking about the fact that Badal is now the chief minister and that's going to make a difference. Badal, throughout his, you know, his record, shows basically where his loyalties lie. And it's not just Badal, it's the BJP, Shromni Kalidal coalition. And we can see what the BJP has been involved in. Again, Advani was very clear in his book about how he was pushing for Operation Blue Star and he was actually upset I, that it was six months later. Four, four minutes doing this, so we'll, have to, we'll have to sum this up quickly. But I, th I think you're going to get opposing views on this because I think some people are going to think that you know they can't just sit back and, and let this happen. Haji, mm -hmm. Haji. Um, I just want to do. Well, first of all, say that you know you've raised up some fantastic points. Uh, some of the stuff I didn't clearly know myself before. Um, I think um, the, the points I wanted to firstly mention were social media nowadays is uh, is a powerful tool. We we can look at the Arab Spring last year. That that the revolution was so uh, solely social media based. Uh, and that's how that came about. Um, you, he, Viji over here made a fantastic point that we seem, as Sikhs, we only seem to be taking up Sikh causes. So how can we look at this as not being a just a Sikh cause? Well, capital punishment in the 21st century really is, is that something that 
we should be agreeing with. Um, Amnesty International says, well, first of all, the capital punishment is denying a person their the human right to, to live. So we should be looking at it maybe from that, that sort of angle and seeing how can we actually oppose this from a human rights perspective and maybe being able to gather a bit more support from outside, from you know, people who are not Sikh and, and showing them that sort of point of view. I'd have to sum this up, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think there's so many points. If we had another half an hour or extension, maybe that wouldn't have been enough. But there's a lot of points that I think we need to bring up. I think the discussion just got to uh, a, a, a good level. But I think, you know, I'd, I'd, we're going to get opposing views on this. We're going to get, you know, we're going to have differing views on this. We've got a very short time frame on this. So I'm going to have to wrap it up on this. Um, partly agree with what Shamshir Singh is saying here as well, because, you know, a Sikh has that kind of uh, romantic uh, relationship with, with the news. I mean, as, as you know, it, there's, there, there's a, you know that is a relationship. Justice. That's a relationship. Then also you've got to agree, is, is there a human rights angle on this as well? Should we, we look at... That. As Sikhs, we've got to pursue that human rights angle, huh? as much as we can, and try to do our survey in terms exactly. of him. Just on the mention of human rights, Amnesty International is still banned from India. It's yeah. 2012. <laughs> there is no human rights. There is no justice for Sikhs. We're deluding Even. ourselves by thinking that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you need to I do? Think, yeah. Sing. I mean, I think, well, well, I mean, what can we do? I mean, you know. The, the letter of Devinder Beats, Devinder Jee Singh on the Yeah, yeah. Or? I mean, there is, there's, there's, a, uh, there's a website, www.supportpalwansingh.blogspot.com. Now, it's a, it's a website set up by some Sikhs. It's there to coordinate these campaigns that are going to take place. There's apparently protests beginning to take place. Um, when when's the protest? Is outside um, the Indian embassy? Um, Indian embassy, yeah, in, and in Birmingham as well. When so is it? I don't know when it is, but <laughs> it's. No, isn't the twenty? If, if you go to this website, it's all go, on the blog. If you go on the blog, if you go on the blog, you'll see it on the blog. So it's www.supportbalwansingh.blogspot.com. Um, so we'll be seeing that coming up soon. So I don't think we can cover a lot. Look, go to the website. Let's start getting ideas together. You know, it's not something that we can discuss in a live show and get into there. We've, we've scratched the surface. to the MPs. I mean, there's a letter on there. Um, take it off, print it, email it across the MP, apply pressure. You can do something, do it now. Don't let the shit they go by and think it's such a You've got an opportunity, try our best. That's uh -huh. it, yeah. I mean, I second Use that. Use the letter on the website. Use the media, yeah. Go on seekchangam.com, see what's being said there and visit different websites and start get doing active. something. Let's, we're not armchair Sikhs. Okay, people sitting at home may be thinking that I don't have to do something, someone's dealing with this. No, nobody the is. The honest truth is You've got to not. do it. Yeah, exactly. They're About not. time you've done something. You've got to, you can't let the message of Faisal go to waste. His struggle no. is based on the right and the need for Sikhs to have their self-determination and we've got to educate ourselves about the causes. Why did Baisal, as a police officer, put his life on the line, make the ultimate gamble? No property, you know, what more can you gamble than your very life? And that's how much he believes in his cause that he put his life on the line. Never ask for uh, uh, mercy. So we've got to learn from his message. No, no, that's, I think we're going to have to end on that. I'm getting uh, hand signals from the, from the, the uh, director to, to stop the show. So we're going to have to call it a, a day there. A uh, hopefully we get a chance to have another conversation uh, around this. Perhaps, you know, if Sikh Channel agree, maybe we can touch this well, Hopefully on, again. on the protest day, um, it's going to be advertised on Sikh Channel anyway. The day there's going to be like a demonstration to highlight this case anyway. So keep tuned in on the website and everything. Yeah, and see what's going on. Take so um, from all of we, us. We, yeah, with, with, with nothing further to do. Uh, or we'll call it a day here and hopefully we'll pick no I, I, we have to pick this subject oh, on again it's, not gonna, know, it's, it's a hot topic yeah. it Pretty should be it. for the next 12 days you know we should not be sleeping at night we should be thinking about this what we can do yeah. go to MPs approach them talk to them get to know your local MP you mm. pay their wages <laughs> you know don't sit there do nothing mm. use them definitely no, I agree yeah. with that right. so why um, you what time